Hey everyone, Shaka Rezor Kilbot here, and welcome to yet another episode of the Analysis Corner. Today we'll be taking a look at the Double Morale Nomicon, a recent trend that has been seen in solo queue, and recently even in competitive play, with Bjergsen building it on Azir versus the Unicorns of Love. Besides that, Cade Star's top laner Shini built it on Lulu versus Ints in a Brazilian tournament. So why has this been trending recently? Mostly it's because of the patch 4.20 changes. Firstly, the mana regeneration system was changed, making it easier for champions to run out of mana. Both Unholy Grail and Morale and Omicon were changed in this patch. With the old system, they both gave 10 mana regen per second, with Grail having the added benefit of the mana font passive that increased the mana regeneration by 1% per 1% mana missing. However, with patch 4.20, Morale and Omicon was essentially buffed, while Unholy Grail got hit pretty hard. The mana regen system changed the 10 mana regen per second on Morale and Omicon to 100% base mana regen and changed Grail to 50% base mana regen. Grail still has the mana font passive despite being a different one now on patch 4.20. The key difference here is that in the past, Unholy Grail was a better purchase most of the time because it was vastly superior for your mana pool. While it's still an important item on champions like Orianna, it's now an item that is geared towards late game since it's a sort of scaling item. Prices also changed. Morel Nomicon's price went down by 100 gold, while Unholy Grail went up by 100 gold, meaning the Nomicon is now 600 gold cheaper instead of 400. To top this all off, blue buff was nerfed again. The duration is now only 2 minutes, it used to be 2 minutes and 30 seconds. All of these factors ended up giving what otherwise would seem like a troll build something very viable. So the idea behind this weird build path is to get 40% CDR while still achieving high levels of ability power and tons of mana regen. The catch? It's going to cost you 4200 gold and delay other core items that you may need. Let's start with the item and how good it is. Morale Nomicon costs you 2100 gold, but the stats given yield the equivalent of 2940 gold. In other words, the item is 140% gold efficient. So essentially, you're investing 4,200 gold, but you're getting almost 6,000 gold worth of stats for it. To get further insight on the matter, I contacted Voivoy, who has been building it recently. He told me that it's good on champions that benefit vastly from cooldown reduction. To give a practical example on Lulu, it helps her with her secondary effect, since she has quite a few in her kit. Two Morale Nomicons also shores up some mana problems that you would otherwise have with only one item. Besides this, and despite delaying other core items you might want, Morale Nomicon is still one of the best items that gives the most ability power. Ranked only behind Deathfire Grasp, Brabadon's Death Cap, Zonya's Hourglass, Realized Crystal Scepter, and Archangel Staff. So who can you use this double morale Nomicon strategy? Lulu and LeBlanc are the two I've seen the most, but it should also be pretty solid on Syndra, Azir, and Karma, just to name a few. So the question that might arise is, why not go for Ionian Boots of Lucidity to stack up on CDR instead? This is a very valid point. With the combination of morale Nomicon and Boots of Lucidity, you can get 35% cooldown reduction, 40% if you grab sorcery from the offensive tree which is a pretty common build path on Lissandra top and even Lulu. However, you might still get mana issues with only one Morale and Omicon, and you'd be skipping sorcerer shoes that are pretty strong for extra damage, or you wouldn't be able to pick up defensive boots like Mercury Treads, for example. An argument can also be made for an early Void Staff over the sorcerer shoes. Let's do a quick comparison. I'm going to assume that both scenarios have devastating strikes and magic penetration marks. So build 1 is a double morale Nomicon build with Sorcerer's Shoes, which costs you 5,300 gold. Build 2 is a morale Nomicon with Ionian Boots of Lucidity and a Void Staff, which costs you 5,395 gold. Build 1 gives you 160 ability power, 40% CDR and 15 flat magic penetration. Build 2 gives you 150 ability power, 35% CDR, 40% with Sorcery and 35% magic penetration. Looking at how these builds would do against opponents, they equally reduce an opponent's magic resistance when it's at 45. If an opponent has less than 45 magic resistance, build 1 will do better. If he has more, Void Staff kicks in, making build 2 stronger. 
but there is not much of a difference before hitting 75 magic resistance. Adding to this, build 1 will eventually get a Void Staff as it's a mandatory item on any caster. So as a conclusion, the double morale and Omicron strength lies on getting two extremely gold efficient items that are in the higher tier of ability power purchases. They cap you at max cooldown reduction and make sure that you'll never run out of mana. And they also give you a pretty good early game power spike because they're cheap. An argument can be made to go for CDR boots instead of two Morale and Omicons, thus allowing you to finish your core items earlier in the game. However, this limits your boot options, not allowing you to go for Sorcerer Shoes or defensive boot type options like Mercury Treads. Overall, the choice is going to come down to two big factors, mana and magic penetration. If your champion still has mana problems after one Morale and Omicon, a second will remove any issues you previously had. This also opens a slot for Sorcerer's Shoes. Flat Magic Penetration is a good early game stat that stays relevant throughout the game. If your champion has little to no mana issues, Ionian Boots of Lucidity may be the better option to cap your cooldown reduction. The advantage in this case is that it allows you to reach other core items like Death Cap, Void Staff, or Xhanias earlier than if you're building two Morale Anomicons. That's going to be all for today, I hope you guys enjoyed this short analysis, and I'll see you guys in the Rift. Chakra is signing out. <laughs>